Physics Tips and Techniques Introducing the Canon JS Library Using a physics library we can bring our scenes to life. In this video we're going to look at creating this simple example. We're going to use the Canon JS Library. This library was created by Stefan Stepp Hedman. It was written directly in JavaScript. It was not ported from a C++ library. If you search for Canon JS on Google, you'll find the link to the GitHub repo. Here is the direct link. Before we jump into coding, let's look at a few examples. Click the demo link. The pile example drops a new sphere many times a second. The ragdoll example shows how you can have constraints. The individual pieces are connected together. And the Raycast vehicle example shows how you can easily create a 3D physics vehicle app. You can see this is a library worth learning. And the best part is, since you're a 3GS developer, Canon JS works really well with the 3GS library. It was written with 3GS in mind. Shoot along to this address. If you look at the settings JavaScript tab, you'll see that I've already added Canon JS to this pen. You can add it to your own pen simply by searching for it using the search panel. I've also added my own helper class. Canon Helper. This is a class that assists in blending Canon JS with 3GS and we'll learn more about it in the next video, but it will come in handy in this example. To get started add function init physics. The first thing to do when using Canon JS is to create a world. Add world equals new Canon dot world. Now we have a physics world we can add things to it. Think of it like a scene in 3GS. We need a couple of useful global values, so add dt equals 1.0 divided by 60.0, damping equals 0.01. dt will be the time that has elapsed for each update of the physics world, and damping will be used for our falling shapes. Now enter world.broad phase equals new canon dot naive broad phase world.gravity set 0, minus 10, 0. The broad phase is how Canon handles collision detection. Gravity is set to minus 10 units per second force in the y-axis. If a unit is a meter, then this is close to the real world setting. We're going to add the helper class we mentioned earlier. Add helper equals new Canon helper scene world. Notice you pass the 3GS scene and the Canon JS world to the Canon helper constructor. Now we're going to create our first rigid body. A physics engine takes the rigid bodies, applies forces to them, checks for collisions, and determines where the body will end up after a short time interval. In Canon, this is called a step. A rigid body will contain one or more shapes. Let's create our first rigid body. Enter const ground shape equals new canon plane, ground material equals new canon material, const ground body equals new canon body, mass zero, material, ground material, ground body dot quaternion dot set from axis angle, new canon dot vec three, one zero zero, minus math dot pi divided by two. Ground body dot add shape, ground shape, world dot add, ground body. Helper dot add visual, ground body, 0x ff aa 00. First we create a shape. This one is a plane. Then a material, then a rigid body. The rigid body has mass 0, which means it will be fixed and will not move as a result of collisions. We rotate the plane to be in the XZ plane by setting its quaternion property, which describes its orientation. We rotate it minus pi over 2 in the X axis. We add our plane shape to the rigid body and add the rigid body to the world. Canon handles all the collisions and motion, but it doesn't display anything. To see the result of the calculations, we need to visualize the rigid bodies. This is where the helper class comes in. We use the method addVisual passing a Canon rigid body 
and an optional colour value. If you add init physics to the init method, you can now see an orange ground surface in the 3D window. So far so good. What we would like to do is add a small box or sphere to the scene every second or so and watch as it drops onto the ground or onto rigid bodies that are already in the scene. Add this function. Function add body. Let shape. If math.random is greater than 0.5, shape equals new canon sphere 0.5. Else, shape equals new canon box, new canon dot vec 3, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Const material equals new canon material. Const body equals new canon body. Mass 5 material material. Body dot add shape shape. Const x equal math dot random times 0 0.3 plus 1. Body dot position dot set x 5 0. Body dot linear damping equals damping. World dot add body. Helper dot add visual body. First we create a shape, either a sphere of radius 0.5 or a box that is 0.5 left, right, top, bottom, front and back. The dimensions passed are actually half the width, height and depth. Then we create a material, a rigid body of mass 5, so it will be a moving body. Then we add the shape to the body and set its position with a little randomization in the X. We set the damping, this means it eventually stops moving, and we add it to the world and to the helper. To see the function in action, add set interval, add body, 1000, to the init physics function. Now we have a fully functioning scene. Before we move on, just take a quick look at the update method. Notice that we step the world using the dt value as the elapsed time, and we update the helper. Both of these are essential for our scene to appear correctly.